Mark Scott here reporting. Guess where I am today? <laughs> ah, San Gennaro, the San Gennaro Feast in New York City. I'm gonna take a walk. First, do a shout out. Amazing thing happened yesterday. You can't, you're not gonna believe this. Uh, shout out to Kyle Kalinsky, who had Bernie Sanders on his on his uh, podcast. Wow, fucking guy, man! You talk about you talk about independent media getting a bump. Bernie Sanders, the link is down below. Check it out, man. It's amazing. Kyle Kalinske, uh, his interview with Bernie Sanders. He's the guy at Secular Talk, young man. Outstanding job. Outstanding job having Bernie Sanders on your show. Call in. Uh, also, before I take a walk, is um, shout out to uh, Eddie, Mur uh, Eddie, uh, Eddie Money died. Eddie Money, two tickets to paradise. Take me home tonight. What else? He did a uh, baby hold on to me. It's a New Yorker, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Getting bumped into here, man. I'm ready to start throwing some elbows. <laughs> so, Eddie Money dies at 70 years old. So, we're here at the 93rd... 93rd annual San Gennaro Feast. Let's take a walk. Maybe we'll talk to some Italians. Like I said, it's very crowded. I'm gonna try to be polite, but I'm gonna do the New York thing right away. I'm try to get, try to go around these, this crazy shit, right? <laughs> so it's every year. How you doing, man? All right? You doing good? Yeah, man. Italian sausage. Poor pig. Very crowded. So, sorry, I'm just getting stuck. I, le I left my mic stand home, right? So I made a, I made one out of a stick. You see? <laughs> so this is pretty cool, right here. This is the um, the Saint Gennaro, right? So I guess the object is you put some money there and you get a wish. People are adding money to the pile. Real money. You make a prayer to the money god. Only in New York, man. Just photo bomb a couple of people. <laughs> Go this way. So this thing stretches blocks and blocks and blocks. I've been coming here since a little kid, many years, many years. There's like 300 vendors. We see all the stores as well. It's like it's it's actually mixed in with Chinatown now. Maybe we'll talk to some Italians. Sausage for his... As far as the eye can see. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. What's up? Hi. You want to buy some lemonade? <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I was the only one he would talk to. Not really my scene. <laughs> I want to take you on a trip so far from here. Got any money song stuck in my head, man. What do you got over there, Zeppelis? Rice ball. What's up, boss? How are you, man? I was working a sausage rack. I want to take you on a trip so far from here. <laughs> a lot of tourists. You see it's up and down the blocks too. Ed. Heads all the way down that way too. Crazy shit, man. Let's see if we find, find some people to talk to. <laughs> some real Italians. So, Little Italy, this is where the uh, real Italians first landed in, in New York. Actually, in America, starting about, I guess, 1910, 1920. That's when my grandparents came over. And a lot of the... Um, the 1950s, 1940s, 1960s mafia. The mafia doesn't really exist, but you know what I'm talking about. The mafia, the guys that the good, they good fellas from the neighborhood, right? They all started down here as well. Big bro, what's up, yeah? Big bro. Hey, what's up, boss? Big bro. All right. Hey, you a real Italian? <laughs> I'm very talented. Italian? Well, I like women. I like big girls. I like the chunky ones. Because big butts are everything. Are you looking for the two youths? Am I looking for what? The two youths. Well. You know that from my, 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 my cousin Vinny? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knows that. <laughs> he knows that. I know. I, I, my delivery my delivery was on. I never had a TV before. I just bought a TV. Yo, cousin Vinny? Oh, you talking about Ralph Macchio? No, I'm talking about my cousin Vinny. We're Ralph Macchio. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we're Ralph Macchio. You know why Richie did Bobby Lupo? <laughs> why Richie did Bobby Lupo? Do you know, know why Richie did Bobby Lupo? I do not know. I Yo, think. what what movie is that? Serious? Damn, why I don't Richie know, I, did Bobby Lupo? Was, uh, was, above the law? Above no, the law. Man. We're, we're from, uh, what's your boy? Um, so, uh, uh, Steven Seagal. Steven Why Richie did Bobby Lupo? Everybody, yo, why Richie did Bobby Lupo? Where you at? Where you at? We're gonna find him here. He's here. He's here. He's here. All right, man. We're gonna find him, man. Thanks, man. Talk to you. Much love, brother. Thanks, man. That's way out there. I don't know what movie he was talking about. What do you got here, man? You're rolling, rolling cigars. Can I, can I uh, bring you into my frame? You mind? What's up, man? Hey, how are you, man? Hey. All right, I'm doing good. What are you? You're rolling, you're rolling. Wow, hand yeah, rolling cigars. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on this one over here. Beautiful. Yeah, so I make one of the three and double wrap, and that's a medium cigar, and it's just three mile. Smells lovely. I, unfortunately, I stopped smoking, but good job, man. Thank you. Hand rolled cigars. Hmm. Smoke them if you got them. Oh, some ice cream? You want some ice cream? So I grew up eating all this food. <laughs> Italian food. Pizza. Gagnolis. Scungili. Galamad. <laughs> What's up, guys? Is that, uh, is that real Italian ice cream? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I trust you, man. So what? So what? What is this? It's not. It's not Carvel, right? It's it's gelato, right? You from Italy? 
Are you from? Are you Italian? No. Strike two. I said strike two. He's Italian. Are you Italian? Yeah. Where'd you grow up? You grew up in the city. Italy. Where? In Italy. Oh, in Italy. Oh, all right. All right. So you're a real Italian. Yeah. I'm a I'm a, uh, a transplant. Yeah. And my grandparents are from uh, somewhere in Italy. You grew up in the states? I yeah. I grew up. I grew up. Uh, yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Oh, you have from the city. Yeah. My grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. My grandparents, uh, they came here in 1910. Have you been to? I've been to Italy, yeah. I've been all over Italy. I've been to... Uh, I loved it. I thought Florence was this is an amazing place. Rome. I went to Pisa. I went to uh, Venice. Beautiful place, really. Milan. What part of Italy are you from? The southern part. Southern part. So Sicily, all the way down? Yeah. Very good, man. That's I here. It's okay. Yeah. I miss Rome sometimes. Say something in Italian to prove you're from Italy. No. Parla italiano. No, no, no. Andiamo. <laughs> Good talking to you, man. Thank you. I don't know if he's a real Italian or not. I had to, I had to test him. Hey, I need a ball player. Who's next? You know where not give you a prize. There. It's like the tooth fairy. <laughs> Sorry about that, Tooth Fairy. You made a, you made a cameo appearance. I want to take you on a trip so far from here. People are mostly friendly here. It's all about the food, you know. This is one. Of, excuse me. This is one of the uh, the biggest. I'm sorry. It's one of the biggest delicacies. Is a uh, zeppoli. You eat a zeppoli. They put some. Uh, they put some uh, sugar on that thing. Put it in a bag. Mix it up. Yum. Fried dough. Fried dough, right, yo? She wasn't very friendly. Got a Ferris wheel over there. <laughs> Very on my best behavior. It's a good place to get punched in the face if you say the wrong thing. It's not like the Chinese you can goof on them. Italians, they kick your ass. <laughs> At least that's how I grew up, man. A lot of faggots online. You, get your, you grew up around where I grew up, you get your ass kicked on a daily basis, man. With your big mouths. Big, tough guys. Ooh. It's the most Zeppelin. So what is this? Uh, fried dough, right? What's a Zeppelin? Sounds good, man. Thank you. If I had a hand, I would buy, I would eat them. I'll come back later. <laughs> Sounds good, man. <laughs> I won't Excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. There's also a lot of restaurants, too, if you haven't noticed. There's a lot of sit-down restaurants. You can sit down. You can walk and eat. Hey, can, what, can you tell me what that is? What is the... You mind being on camera? I don't mind. We were just going. What's that? That's just a YouTube YouTube channel. What's the white stuff? Uh, it's Tyrone. It's a hard nougat candy. Uh, it's made with almonds, sugar, egg whites, and a little bit of milk. And it's rock hard. I don't, I don't remember that as a kid, man. I, I, I'm Italian. I don't remember my grandparents uh, having that. Italy? 
That's that's probably why, and a lot of the old timers would make it like in their house. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, good talking, man. You from, are you Italian? Yeah, I am Italian. Where, where'd you grow up? Uh, Staten Island, and uh, I used to live a couple blocks down on Spring and Mott, and my family owns the restaurant right over here, Danico's. Oh, very good, very good. So Staten Island, that's where I grew up. I grew up there too. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, Staten Island. Nice. Yeah. Hey, good talking to you, man. Good, yeah, yeah, good talking to you, man. Just giving him the Italian test. Where do you think he should live in the pizzeria? I want to take you on a trip. I can't get any money out of my head. Baby, hold on to me. I'm going to get a copy strike. I sound just like him. <laughs> that should be crazy. Uh, 16 minutes in. Have I seen enough yet? Let's see if we talk to some more people. The guy, that guy was funny as hell. Talking about the old movies. Remember, it's early. In, it's it's daytime. It's not nighttime. People are not loaded yet, you know? Not much more to tell you about it, really, other than, you know, it's just miles and miles and rows and rows of food. And if you keep walking uptown, you end up, you end up all the way down. That's downtown. You can see the courthouses in the back. All right, the Epstein Court is down there. It's literally two blocks away from that. All right, the edge of, uh, the edge. How you doing, man? Hey, you a real Italian? Yeah. Are you? I'll show you an even realer Italian, my mother. Come here, Ma. The real Italians? How you doing, man? Marcus Conti reporting a YouTube channel. How you doing? No, no, uh, in the TV, I don't want it. No, no it's not YouTube. TV. Yeah, Come here, Ma. <laughs> so you, you guys are uh, you real Italian? I'm you... se second generation Italian, Vincent Migliori, and this is my mother from Caserta, Italy, Alfonsina Migliori. Parla Italian? Si, parla Italian. Well, so, it's an easy question. Italian. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Me too much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so you, so you, where, where are you from in uh, New York? You're a New Yorker? Uh, no, yeah, we're from upstate New York. A uh, little town called Waterville, probably 20 minutes from Albany. Right, right. Yeah, but I could easily pass for a Brooklynese. Yeah, yeah, you got the accent going on. You got the <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, yeah, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate talking to you, man. Thanks, it's good brother. talking to you. Mother was camera shy. He's not from Brooklyn. He's not from the city, so I let him go. <laughs> Once he said Albany, I was like, hey, have a nice day. Saw that. He didn't know that. See some more food? I guess they like miniature pizzas. Yum yum. Wow, you want to see some gorilla burgers? Look at this. Look at this shit. Long day, man. I guess it's a giant turkey turkey leg. Hey, what is this? What is this? What is that? Turkey? <laughs> what is this? Turkey? Turkey, turkey, buen turkey. <laughs> cheese kebab. Turkey, Chicken. cheese kebab, what up? Chicken, corn, roasting corn, roasting corn. Are you a real Italian? Okay, tell me, have you Italian? <laughs> Are you Italian? I'm only talking to Italians today, sorry, mate. I'm kidding. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the tour. Woo, smoky. Smoky as hell over here. 
It would definitely be more funny at, in the drunken hour. Sorry. You're getting the you're getting the day shift. What's up, boss? Oh, I got to talk to you. You got the accent going on. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Everything's good. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> Where are you from? Are you from the city? Brooklyn, New York. All right. Amen, man. You heard any money died today? Yeah. Uh, yes, yesterday. Well, two days ago. I got two tickets <laughs> to paradise. He's a Brooklyn guy, too. You know yeah, that? No, I didn't know that. It's uh, Ed, Ed Mahoney. He's Irish. Where from Brooklyn? Where was he? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but he's from Brooklyn. That's what the post said. So what do you just walk in the crowd and check? Yeah, a YouTube channel. It's got you know. It's not like it used to be. I know this used the to be old days. Right. The, the um, a few the, guys in the grave are turning over in their yeah, grave. You know. The mafia. There is no mafia, right? That's that's all. That's all hearsay. That's just that's just good fellas from the neighborhood. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You remember when they they used to uh, they had the social <laughs> the socialite club on, right on this block. You remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People don't know. Hey, thanks. There you go. People don't know the story, man. You know the story, right? Who was the 1980s? Who was the Godfather? Who was it? I'm asking you. I don't know. I'm giving you mafia questions. Mafia quit. It was Paul Castellano. Wow. Arguably. No, not 1980. I don't know about that. He got Castellano got whacked. You're right. Castellano got whacked in 1980. No, no, it was 80. It was 84. Guarantee. 1984, 85. As I remember the day, I remember the day it happened. 1984, Actually, 1985. He, he took over when uh, Gambino, no, when Carl Gambino died in 77. Actually. Right, but the, right, he took over. I'm tell, I'm saying, when did he get whacked? Uh, I don't know. He got whacked. He got whacked at Sparks Steakhouse. It's good stuff, man. All right, good talking to you, man. A little mafia quiz. You know why I know that history? You might find out someday. I've only alluded to it. <laughs> so this is a famous bakery right here, Ferrara's. They got a stand. Got to stay away from the music so you don't get a copyright strike. It's crazy, man. YouTube, they slap, they slap you with that. They don't, they don't strike you, but they, they, uh, they put a lien on your video. You see commercials and they're not yours. They're not for your benefit. They're not for your pocket. They're for somebody else's pocket. Crazy, man. Hi, guys. Uh oh, you one Italian cop. Can I talk to you? Italian cop. From the neighborhood? What's up, officer? How are you? Going? Pretty good, man. So, uh, are you uh, representing your people here? Or are you just chilling? Just working? Just working. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate your time. You guys, are looking, you guys look sharp. That's why I came over here. Looking sharp, man. Sharp. Sharp police officers. Young man. Young man with a gun. Women find that sexy, man. A young man with a gun. Ooh. I'm going to lock you up. Italians, they talk with their hands. There's miles of food. Oh, some desserts. It's cool looking stuff. Looks like, um, looks like marshmallows. Chocolate covered marshmallow. A chocolate covered pretzel. Some uh, candy apples. Mmm. It's a real apple in there, right? Candy apples. Oh no, there's a copyright strike coming. I can hear it. I'm going to cover the microphone. Cover the microphone. No. No. So happy together. What's up, boss? <laughs> Terrified of music. <laughs> Mexican corn joint. 
Barbecued corn. I came in the daytime because, well, a couple of reasons. One is I don't come out at night. But more, more so, you can't even walk. What's up? I don't want a free shot. Yo, 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 yo. What's it's up, Whitey man? from the Mighty. <laughs> Whitey from the Mighty? Whitey from the Mighty. Uh, where you from? What, what part of the city are you from? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, bro. Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh, you follow, you like the road show. You follow road? Carney. Born bred Carney. All right. Are you Italian? No. Uh, I'm so Italian then, Stein. What are you talking about? Uh, have a nice day, man. <laughs> right, good talking to you, Whitey. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I'm open down here. Over here. Who's coming in? Who's ready? Who's ready? Everybody get the free strike. It may not sound loud to you, but man, has that guy got a set of fucking pipes. Uh oh, I got another song in my head. So happy together. Oh. This is a guy in Oh. I'm sneaking a peek at the Gagnolis. That was like one of the best desserts ever invented. Amazing. Some amazing dessert right there. Uh oh, music. Uh oh, copyright problem. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Running from the music. I don't know, what did I walk? Like four blocks already? It's. It doesn't end. We're chilling in the bar. Uh, it seems like it's getting less Italian over here. It's more like uh, less screaming food. How you doing? I'm moving up towards Soho. That's why. That's where the hipsters. What? Wow. Oh, where the hipsters are? La 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 la. Try to talk to some hot chicks. <laughs> I don't see any. They run away from me. Like I said, not a good place to be if you're claustrophobic. block to go and I'll hi how are you just saying hi having a good time <laughs> what's your name Christy hi Christy you from you from New York I'm not I'm from Maryland are you uh you got you got the uh, Italians in your family I do all, all one, Italian one, on both sides yes uh, so you so you feel like you're coming home when you come here right? I do a definitely definitely it's a nice time nice time it reminds you of like it reminds you of you know childhood all the yes. the food uh, you know the food, the excitement, the atmosphere, everything's really nice. I really enjoy it. Where, yeah. where did you lose your accent along the line? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good, talk time. Good, time. Good talking to you. Good talking to you. I got the ear. I can hear it. I'm ready to take the express route to get out of here. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna do it. It's too crowded over here. I'm gonna do the New York thing. I go through the back alley. 
going to take the back alley. I'm going to take the back alley. So, like I said, we're already in Soho here. You start to see the uh, the foofy hipster sh shops. Eh, you got to walk it once a year, you know. You walk the San Gennaro Feast once a year. That's my walk. I could say I was here. Shut it down over here. So, if you actually do a history, I just that's that's what I wanted to show. You see this church over here? Hi. See this church? That's the um, that's the church where Carmine Gambino's brother, well, one of those one of those old Italians, he lived he he was a priest inside the church, and for some reason, it gave the mob. A certain immunity down here. I don't really remember the exact story because I was a kid. But uh, one of those, look it up, man. It's a church on Mulberry Street. Anyway, Marcus Conti reporting live from the San Gennaro Feast. I hope that was interesting to you. I've seen it now, I don't know, 50 times in my life. I've always walked this block, you know. It does. It reminds me of childhood. It reminds me of being a kid, you know, talking to the... Talking to the people that, I guess somehow you attach to the your ethnicity, where your where your people were from. My grandparents were all from Italy, so I think about it. You know, I come down here, I remember the food. Marcus Conti reporting.